Let's look at the nudge feature inside of Cubase. You can show your nudge uh, panel toolbar up here by clicking, right clicking on these toolbars up here. If you want to learn more about customizing the toolbar, we have a whole tutorial about that and customizing the transport bar. You just right click up here and you want to show your nudge palette. That's our nudge palette. Let me hide uh, something else to give me a little more real estate. Okay, that'll be cool. Now, the nudge palette actually uses the snap to grid. We had a whole tutorial on snap to grid and snap to bar. Um, and the way that you do it is you click on the event that you want to move. What nudging is for, it's like when you're listening to a song, you can take a particular track that maybe sounds ahead or behind, and you can click this nudge button and move it in slight increments backwards or forwards, or you could do it on um, you could do it on a, almost any kind of track, like a MIDI track or an audio track. So you can nudge it slightly back and forward until you feel like it's on time. I usually do it by a frame. So what I would do is I would come over here and I would take my timeline bar and switch it to time code. And I would come up here and select one frame. And now as the song's playing, I can click this here and I'll nudge it forward and backward by small increments. So while I'm playing the song, I can actually slightly nudge this farther and back until it, until it feels like it's right on time with the music. You can also use the nudge to trim the beginning or the end of a file to whatever you have the set to, a frame or a second or a bar, whatever you choose. And this will actually uh, trim the beginning of the file. From, it'll add more and add less. You can also nudge the end of a file. Come over here. And you can nudge the file in or out. And you can select however you want it. You can do it by bars if you want to do it by bars. This will move the file by an entire bar. I can move it by a beat. This will move the entire file by a beat. And like I said, we could even go down to 8th notes and 16th notes. This would move the file by a 16th note. You can even nudge a selected area range selection on Cubase the same way we nudge our file. We can highlight a section and we can nudge this section slightly forward or slightly back. This would be by an eighth note. We can trim the beginning of the section. And we can trim the end of the selection. The nudge palette does a lot of things. We can also move the entire selection forward and backward. So that pretty much wraps it up for basic usage of the nudge feature. Nudging is great if you have a track that feels off time early or ahead. You can nudge it as it's playing till you can feel like it's on time. And like I said, you can nudge almost anything from a MIDI track, uh, audio track, uh, marker, uh, range selection, all that stuff.